Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up in just a moment, joining me in our Millennial Mom segment brought to you by Navi Travel. Today, we're featuring Heather Choi. She's an author, an accomplished violinist, and chairman of SMYH, Show Me Your Heart Foundation. She's been honored by the National Ethnic Coalition of Organizations as recipient of the 2017 Ellis Island Medal of Honor. She believes that investing in people is a way to make this world a better place. Eugene's Unsuspecting Journey is Heather's first publication. Today, she's joined by illustrator Laura Bryson, Eugene's Unsuspecting Journey is Laura's first written publication and the second children's book, which she has illustrated. Today, we're chatting all about grief, how to manifest positive emotional change after loss, and how Heather is aiming to help parents and those grieving from loss change the color of the day. Now, when a child dies, many people's thoughts immediately go to the grieving parents. It can be difficult to fathom what they're feeling or figure out what to say in the aftermath of such a devastating loss. Losing a child is a unique type of grief as the natural order has been disrupted. Most people have suffered the loss of a parent, a grandparent, or a spouse, but most have not experienced losing a child. As parents, we expect our children to make the world a better place. We have hopes and dreams for them. So we not only grieve the loss of the child, we grieve the loss of what could have been. It's even more heartbreaking not to be able to talk about that child. Now, Heather took control of that by making certain that Eugene Wong Choi's legacy lived on through this beautiful book. Joining me now are Heather and Laura. Welcome to the show, my beautiful friends. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Heather, I'm going to start with you. Now, as as you know better than anyone else, the agony of losing a child at any age is unparalleled. There is no age or point in time that makes it any easier. And losing Eugene carried with it the loss of the future, the hopes, the dreams and potential that he would have fulfilled. Talk to me about this book, Eugene's Unsuspecting Journey, and what inspired you to write it. Okay, when Eugene, he was at the hospital for five years, intensive care, would do anything, everything to encourage him while, while, when your uh, kids are sick, right? So we're looking for the book saying, uh, how could I encourage you sick, make him happy? And all the years, all these survivor through the uh, cancer, all those books are sad books, sad story. And I said, uh, you know, even though you're in the position such a sad and uh, hard time, you know, having a hard time, there's always a, uh, some happy time too from the sadness. The, even though you're having such a hard time, you could always find such a like happiness, like uh, you order the pizza, which I was at, that was my 40th birthday. We ordered the pizza and we're so happy because we could have outside of the food, that kind of thing. It's like uh, I want people, I want a patient with, at the hospital or having a hard time, uh, not just uh, read the book saying, uh, I had this, this and this hard time, but I survived. No, I said, uh, you know, the, my uh, situation was so hard, but through even the situation's hard, but I somehow could find some happy time. So I get through from this situation. That, that was the whole idea. Of course, and what a beautiful job you did. Now, Laura, you co-authored and illustrated the book. Congrats on the beautiful work. And even amidst even amidst the darkest moments of despair, right, flickers of hope emerge. And through the power of connection and compassion, Heather began to piece together her shattered heart and discovered a renewed sense of purpose and meaning. And the labyrinth of grief, as we know, is a tough one. Why is this book so important to you? And what is your mission, Laura? Well, the book is so important to me because when I met Heather, um, it was a beautiful dinner that she and her husband, Mingi, took my husband and I out, and I never met her. And uh, in getting to know each other, they were thanking my husband for his kindness to Heather. And uh, I asked, you know, do you have any children? And Mingi said no. So the dinner went on, and we had a lovely time, and Heather and I connected. But So I got home, and I Googled her. I just wanted to know more about her. And I found this story, how they had lost Eugene. And I was heartbroken. I have raised two boys, very similar age. And I was so profoundly upset that I, I wanted to share that with her. I wanted her to know. So I called her that night at 11 o'clock PM. And I said, Heather, I want to know you as a mother. 
I want to know Eugene. We have a connection, but it has to be real. And so we both cried and it was just a very profound moment for me. And from that moment on, I just had this connection with Eugene. I sadly have other friends who've lost kids, but Eugene's in my heart forever. And so we said we wanted to do something. And I had, um, uh, as an illustrator, it was a sensible thing to maybe make a book together. So that's why the book is so important to me because together we worked on it on every aspect. And I think we accomplished what Heather was trying to show. I love it. And of course, when you're when you talk about death, it's hard enough, but mm -hmm. cultural traditions can make it even more complicated, right? Like the word death is extremely taboo in Asian culture, as it's believed that death will come if 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 it's mentioned. Some even refuse to register as organ donors or write their own wills for fear of cursing themselves and bringing on death. And traditionally, Asian cultures place great value on the family as a unit and are collectivist by nature. Bringing honor and not shame to the family is of utmost importance, which is why Asians are often expected to suppress rather than express their feelings. In fact, it's typical for Chinese people to express their condolences with a saying that translates to, quote, I hope that you will restrain your grief and adjust to the change. Heather, what do you say to this? And ultimately, what helped you in your grieving process? You know what, thank you for asking me that question. I guess that's one of the main reasons that I wrote about, about Eugene, because uh, losing, sending your kids heaven before you, that's the worst thing ever. I mean, uh, for uh, for worst everybody, but especially for the Asian, Asian community, that's like oh, such a no, no, no situation. And you got this name tag saying, uh, your life has to be miserable forever. And the uh, you can go to party. You can you can enjoy. It. It's like as soon as you see even you see yourself enjoying your life. It's such a bad mother and bad parents. You can't do that. And I said, no, 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 no. I want to be the first one who said, uh, whatever happened happened. But the uh, the rest of the rest of the life, my life, and everybody gets to have one shot for their life. Just because something terrible happened doesn't mean I got the name tag saying uh, my life has, has to be miserable. That's why I wrote a book first in English and I wrote it as a uh, Chinese and Korean and hopefully uh, Japanese and Indian. I want to let all these Asian mommies saying that's okay. That's okay. And you want to tell them it's okay because they yeah. suppress their emotions and you're paving the way here for an entire community to be able to openly talk about it. And you not only are talking about it, you wrote a book about it. You went that step further. So congratulations. Eugene is looking down on you, mama, and he's so, so proud. This is your yeah. moment. You, you, yeah. you did what you set out to do and Laura helped you. Now, Laura, you're a great support system. Uh, for Heather and a dedicated friend, connecting with other parents who have experienced a similar loss can be incredibly valuable and sharing experiences and listening to others' stories help with feeling less alone. What advice do you have for friends and family to best support someone during their grieving process? I think honesty. I think you already know as, well, many people are parents already if they know someone who lost a child. And so we can envision the loss. We can't really feel it. But I think saying a word or two of honest, of honest emotion is, is a doorway in, you know, and I think obviously listening, but I, I've just approached it honestly with Heather and with a couple of other friends, and it seems to build a bond. Well, that's why you're good at what you do. You're an illustrator. You tell stories through the, the beautiful art that you create and okay. you connect people. So that's incredible. Now, Heather, preserving memories is very important and finding ways to honor Eugene's memory is very healing for you. I could see it. Keeping his memory alive is clearly uh, very comforting and, and, and it helps you maintain a sense of connection to him. Now, this book is, of course, your way of honoring Eugene. If you could go back and give yourself mm -hmm. one piece of advice throughout all of this, what would it be? Again, everybody gets to have one shot for their life. It's totally up to you. Don't complain. You just take it and you make the most of it and you do your best. And that's the only way that you could go to heaven to meet your lost child, children. 
This was a great answer. It was short and sweet and to the point. Now, let's chat about the foundation, the SMYH Foundation. Uh, they have a music and art division, and you support youth groups who are talented in art. Your mm -hmm. goal is to provide more opportunities to these children through competitions and events. In mm -hmm. fact, your annual art competition supports scholarships and creates opportunities for various artistic experiences. You work with elementary age children through high school. Tell us more, and how can people support? Show me your heart, meaning show me your heart. When I'm limiting myself, you know, there's a lot of a foundation called the Cancer Foundation or Breast Cancer Foundation. They kind of limit, you know, they do certain things. But Show Me Your Heart Foundation is, as long as you show me your heart, we will jump in with you and we do make the better and bigger together. And we're not limiting just for the children or just for the uh, art or music, anybody. We could do the things with the woman or anything, everything, everything. But it doesn't have to be in America. Anybody in your heart, then that's the whole idea. I love it. Laura, this is a great, great friendship and uh, you have now come to know her. Any other books in the works? Well, I think it would be fun I daydream about having Eugene take an, a few animated journeys in animation. Ooh, I like that. I think we sure, should make I that happen. Sure, I think we could have a few journeys that kids would like to watch. Well, then there we go. Heather, there's mm -hmm. another calling for you. There's another book. <laughs> it's, it, it's, 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 it'll be my honor. There you go. Well, if, if you ever want to stop in and say hello, please do so. We'd love to have you back. I'd love to send people to be able to get this book, uh, be able to come, you know, check out your, your, your incredible Eugene's unsuspecting journey and read it for themselves. So definitely I'm going to send people to bestboypublishing.com. And of course, Laura, your website, laurabrysonart.com and the foundation SM yhfoundation.com. Those are the three most important handles to remember. Thank you so much for coming on, ladies. It was such a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you, Thank for you so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Guys, grief is a complex and, and an individual journey, and it's important to allow yourself to grieve in your own way and at your own pace. It's normal to experience a wide range of emotions, shock, anger, guilt, sadness, confusion, Remember that it's okay to feel these emotions and that they are a natural part of the grieving process. It's okay to take the time you need and seek support when you need it. Healing takes time and there's no set timeline for moving forward. Be patient with yourself and know that it's okay to ask for help along the way. That was our Millennial Mom segment brought to you by Navi Travel. And that, that was the amazing Heather Choi and Laura Bryson. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by Neve, a members-only travel portal exclusively available through Organo, offering members steep discounts on nightly or weekly hotel stays, cruises, auto rentals, excursions, and so much more. With its travel getaway portal, Neve makes the days of surfing multiple travel sites and spending hours evaluating the best deals done with. That's because with Neve, you are guaranteed the best prices. Plus, to gain access to an even more expansive collection of condos, hotels, cruises, vacation villas, fantasy getaways, and concierge service, there's Forever Weeks. Simply purchase a Neve Forever Weeks package one time and enjoy the benefits many times. With Forever Weeks, forever means forever. Not only does Neve guarantee you the best prices, but it is also one of the few travel portals that pays a referral bonus in addition to you earning rewards points, which can be redeemed on the Travel Getaway Portal for further discounted hotel room rates. Become a member today and Navegate the world of of travel. Nave, the world for you to experience. For more information, go to nave.travel. That's nave, N-A-V-E dot travel.